Joining me now is Colonel Chris Hadfield, retired astronaut and author. His most recent book is called The Defector. It's the follow-up novel to his number one best-selling thriller, The Apollo Murders. Good morning to you. Thanks so much for being with us. So in your opinion, did this spacewalk process go smoothly? Yeah, this was the very first time uh, that they've ever worn this spacesuit and the first time they've ever taken all the air out of a SpaceX capsule and everything worked. It's a real tribute to the engineering, uh, the willingness of the crew to take risk and the years of preparation that brought them in. So yeah, I got real kudos for how it worked and it opens the door to tremendous opportunity in the future, Marcia. Yeah, and we'll talk more about that in just a second. Um, so much has been made, uh, Chris, about these space suits. What are the unique characteristics of these suits that the astronauts are wearing? Uh, the space suit that I wore for um, my first two spacewalks was old. I mean, it was designed in the 60s and um, built in the early 80s, so 40 years old. This one, they've used uh, latest of manufacturing techniques right from the beginning, integrating everything together, trying to make it as simple for the crew as possible, easy to get on, easy to get off, make it flexible so movement is easier, trying to lower the overhead, lower the cost, just taking advantage of uh, 40 years of invention and development. And this is the suit you know, that people are going to be wearing, not just on upcoming SpaceX missions, but eventually a, a sort of maybe a granddaughter of this suit on the surface of the moon. So a pretty important first step. So not very many people have had the view that Isaacman and Gillis had today. You certainly had it. Can you describe what that experience is like? Marcia, imagine if you're in a small, really dark, cramped room and you open this heavy door on one end and then as you pull yourself through the door, you emerge out into the universe with, with, with the world there next to you, like some big magic kaleidoscope of a ball. It is so breathtakingly different. Um, such a, a big personal step, but also kind of a step for humanity out into the rest of the universe. It, it absolutely takes, takes over your thought. It, it is mind-stoppingly beautiful. And I'm really pleased that two more human beings got to see that today. You're giving me butterflies, just your description. So, as you say, this opens the door for future possibilities. So what is it about this journey that allows for that and, and makes this mission really so significant? Well, uh, there are really only two types of spacesuits in the world. The one the Soviets designed, that the Chinese have largely copied, and the ones the American designed. Uh, and they're old, 40, 50 years old. So uh, to take advantage of new technology, uh, to build a suit that can now be developed into even more capability, that's what we need as we get further and further from Earth. And uh, the Chinese have stated categorically, they will have people walking on the moon by, 20, by 2030, you know, five years from now. So th this is a big moment in history and you need ships, and you need the protective clothing that allow you to explore and live in these new places. And that's what's being developed here. I just find it so exciting that this is going on right now. This is where we are in history, and we're all a part of it. And great to see that step today. So um, final question then for you, because there were a lot of doubters about this. A lot of people were concerned that this would go off without a hitch and that perhaps space um, is becoming too accessible to quote unquote normal people. What do you think? The easiest thing in the world is to be a critic and a doubter because you don't have to actually do anything. The hard part is spending years and years doing the work. And that's what SpaceX has done. Thousands and thousands of engineers, including lots of Canadian engineers that are working at SpaceX, but then the crew themselves, Jarek Isaacman, who's put so many years of his life into being the commander of this mission. Uh, I've, I spoke to him in great detail about today's spacewalk, talking about you know the big risk thresholds and, and how to get himself ready. He's a really sharp guy, but uh, I was really pleased to see him execute all of those steps properly today. And, um, and it's just the start now of what this suit will do in the future. So uh, I'm very pleased for all of us. Colonel Chris Hadfield, retired astronaut and now author. His most recent book is The Defector. Thanks again and great to have you with us this morning.
Thank you, Marcia.